So, hey guys, our decline here, average picker. So this is just kind of a very brief, probably spur of the moment video um, that I thought I'd do. I was staying up tonight and I was shaping some pins for a third challenge lock um, for a package that's going out to Albert LaBelle. Um, I'd already made a couple. Uh, it was supposed to be out Tuesday or Wednesday though, and stuff just happens, and I didn't get it out in the mail, and I was feeling bad, so it's gonna go go out Monday, hell or high water. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll just, because I can't go out in the mail until Monday, I'll go ahead and throw together another challenge luck for him. Um, so I was doing some pin shaping, and I was originally putting, gonna put this in the design house lock, um, which I don't have on me, it's just, it's really crappy little cylinder, I started thinking, no, it needs to be in something with a little more tolerances and a little higher chambers. And so I reached into the bucket of stuff and pulled out this guy and thought, yeah, this will be a good one to house it in. Um, but I had a lot of trouble picking this, and I even went so far as to shim pick it. And then I didn't feel so bad um, because I shimmed it all the way down to one pin, and I still had problems getting it open. And when I did everything just had like a sticky oily film on it um, it was very very tacky inside um, and I think I pulled this out of the scrap bucket this came off of a door um, that came through the restore not you can see there's not really any markings on it um, I mean, we've got this 156 L O it's an L O L could be a D I'm pretty sure it's an L O um, just the generic made in the USA, 156. Um, and you find this stamp is pretty common across a lot of uh, Schle older Schlegs, I guess. Um, I've seen it on Ilkos and things like that. But when I opened it up, let's see, let's get the follower in here again. So no surprises, we've got five pin, six, seven. So yeah, it is a seven pin core. And I thought, hmm, are they actually chambered it too? I'm not gonna we're not gonna take the pins out. There's really there's no surprises in this. This is completely standard pins. Um, but you can see, yeah, we've actually got seven fully active chambers. Um, you know, sometimes you find six, but only five are drilled on here. Um, but here we have seven, but only five of them are pinned up. So, yeah, uh, not sure. It's kind of neat. Um, I don't think this is the one I'm going to use to build the challenge lock out of, though. I was thinking more of a five-pin lock, so I may go back into the bucket of parts and pull something else out. Um, but I thought this was kind of neat, especially because the other day, or I don't know, a few weeks ago, I shot a video about a guy asking, um, oh, wow, you could also see... Yeah, well, there's no key. Let's see. You can see how those pins are sitting. I don't have... Oh, yeah. So... I mean, that's how... Those are... And that's after a lot of picking and raking at them. And they still just want to stick. Like I said, this whole thing was just very, very tacky. Um, when I was trying to get it open or after I'd opened it. Um, but yeah. So, um, but yeah, the other day, you know, we a guy had asked about uh, how many pins would it make, would it take to make a lock like unpickable or something. And um, I think I had mentioned on there, I had never actually picked a seven pin lock myself. And I guess I still haven't, um, cause I did have to shim pick it and there were only five anyway, but a seven pin core. So thought that was kind of interesting. Thought do a quick little video and just show you guys this lock. Um, I wish it had some other distinguishing marks on it. Um, I don't know, maybe that LO is something, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I wish I could remember how old even that door came off of. We get, you know, doors that are two years old. We get doors that are, you know, 40 years old uh, coming through the restore. So there we go. Seven pin core. Just I'd show you that. All right. Um, talk to you guys later.